Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, this is the wrong season. My bad. Hold up. There we go. It's a little better. This is an interesting topic for me. With the release of Dark Souls Remastered on Switch, side note, Bruh. screw that game. This marks yet another uh, more so unusual game to finally enter, I guess you could say, the Nintendo realm. And, and with this addition, it kind of further stitches the Nintendo Switch as being a worthwhile competitor. Now, I know that Nintendo isn't exactly competing with anybody, but alas, it's still a worthwhile competitor to the Xbox One and PS4. The existence of the Nintendo Switch has officially made this decision, okay, of what version you want to buy a real decision, you know? Because, you know, Xbox One, PS4, there's not a whole lot going on between them. So whether, you know, you deciding isn't that big of a deal. Now there is a fundamental difference between the two systems. One version is going to give you the best performance and quality, whereas the other one is giving you a unique experience, a new way to play. But of course, this is at the expense of less quality and potentially some performance drop. But despite this gamble, you could say, we still have so many people taking that option. So this is a good one, this is a good one. IGN gave Dark Souls Remastered Nintendo Switch version a 0.5 higher score than the PS4 and Xbox One version. Now listen, this version doesn't only gives you, I think, 1080p when it's docked, 720p in the handheld mode, whereas the PS4 and Xbox version are giving you native, probably native 4K, 60 frames per second. This one, again, you're capped at 30, both versions. So what is going on here, you know? How are you gonna have a better version, but score it better? Portability. So now I gotta ask the people, my people, okay? Which boat are you on? We have like two kind of sides going on, two congregations happening. And I'm pretty sure you know, you know, hey, you have an idea of what this one side is, okay? They, they kind of sprouted out of nowhere in 2017, March, when the Switch was announced. I like to call them uh, Switch Port Beggars. Bro, I was playing Spider-Man the other day, right? And this one boss fight, I'm just like, yo, if that game was on Nintendo Switch, I'd be all over it, bro. Like, imagine putting it in the palm of your hand, you know? Wouldn't that be awesome? Anyways, yo, the album just swinging and shit. Bro, bro, I just beat Dragon Quest XI the other day, dude. It was crazy, like, started a little slow and whatnot, but like, after the end, bro, by the, like, mid to end game was just crazy, bro. You need to get that. Oh, man, I can't wait, really. I mean, for real, for I can't wait. Oh, you ain't get it yet? Oh, nah, 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 not yet. You know, but I've been looking into it and everything. You know, I'm, I'm kind of planning, you know, when I'm gonna get it and whatnot, but you, you know. Let me guess, you're getting a Switch God, how'd you know, man? Yeah, man, if, if you really think about it, man, subjectively, it's gonna be the better version, right? You know, because I can play it on, on a TV just like you, but I can also play it in my hand. So, subjectively, you know, it is the better version. So, I, I thought, you know, why not wait for the better version, right? You know? And then the other side, uh, they've actually been here for a minute, okay? They, they've seasoned in this. That's kind of why they, they kind of overpower this side. Nonetheless, we have the frames and graphic course. I just need you to give me a logical explanation as to why you won't buy a 30 FPS game. Why do you keep bringing this up? Because you won't give me a good answer. Like, you act like you're elite or something. Stop talking to me. <laughs> Oh, there is no difference between a 30 FPS game versus a 60 FPS game, especially single player. Both people that play either version are going to have the same experience, and you can't tell me otherwise. Listen, what? You are a pleb. I am a king. Kings play max settings. Look, I'm rich. <laughs> I'm rich. I'm in a palace. So why would I play 30? Why would I play 1080? When I have the option of 4K 60. Okay? Kings eat first. Pleasants eat kings leftovers. Stop talking to me. Stop talking. Really? Now, if you ask me, I'm kind of in the middle, okay?
okay my decision of which version i'm gonna get is it's definitely game to game basis so for example something like dark souls remastered i don't have any close ties to the series to the game i just love bloodborne <laughs> okay i just love bloodborne and so that's why i'm like all right let me see what your other series gotta offer you know what i'm trying to say so i don't care where i get it on as long as this one runs smooth which it does i played it a little bit um it's fine i don't have an issue but if we come on to something like dragon quest 11 i was hyped for the game prior to it releasing I kind of just want the best experience altogether. I do not really care for portability for this game because I'm gonna be at home playing it a lot regardless. So I would go for the PS4 version as, as you know I did. So, and another thing is I don't know how it's gonna fare on the Switch. So I'd rather just take the best version I can get, AKA the PS4 version. But then again, you know, we have something like Paladins or Overwatch. I do not care what system I play it on. You know, I just want to play the game. I'm not that invested in it. So I guess, you know, my deciding factor is how much do I want that game? How much am I, was I excited for it or things like that? And of course, I also think there are some games that just straight up fit on a Switch. Something like Mega Man 11, Mega Man X series, like, you know, I don't need to be sitting on my PS4 playing something like that, you feel me? So it's a definitely game to game basis. But overall, you know, I think you guys might have more of a biased opinion than than like what I could really reach because you know most of us are here on this channel because we love handhelds and you know we started with the PSP then we migrated the Vita that didn't work too well but you know what I'm trying to say and now we're on the switch so we might have a more biased opinion over here but I still think it's nice to see where you guys are all sitting at because I know I still have some people out there that like PC um, gaming specifically and I still think y'all some of y'all do like the portability because we had people who are own PCs and the only other system in terms of the whole console atmosphere they owned was a Vita you know so some of y'all are out there so you specifically what the heck do you like <laughs> you know you out where you're getting a Vita P I don't know but yeah that's all I gotta say let me know your thoughts on this because I really think that's hilarious how Star Souls Remastered the better version got a lower score by IGN so it's very opinionated because again a lot of people were mad at this people were like yo what are you guys doing like I'm not finna buy this to play 1080p when I can get the other version to play 4k 60 you know so but again not all of us care for the frames you know so Let's figure it out. But yeah, that's all I got to say. Um, I will see you all next time. All right? All right? All right. Peace. Why these niggas always trying to move when I move? You can't keep up with the pace. Please don't try to make me mad. Playing switch all in your face. I can't see what you do. I'm not finna run the race with no chances to lose. Yeah.